Joseph, another year at the Ospreys. You must be pretty pleased to put pen to paper on the contract. Yeah, really happy. Um, looking forward to it. This year hasn't gone too well, really, for the whole team in general. But uh, I think all the young boys coming through now, and it'll be good, good, good year next year. And hopefully, I can push a bit of experience onto them and uh, get them going a bit. Without talking cliches, uh, you've mentioned the younger boys, and you do have a role amongst that group, you know, of mentoring and providing that experience. Is this something you enjoy? Something you're looking forward to do even more of next year? Yeah. You know, it's, it's really good fun with the young boys and that, you know, they show me videos, probably they shoot me, show me and things like that in the mornings that cheer me up. But it's like, no, they're good boys and they're all, they're all switched on, they're, they're willing to learn and they're willing, you know, they're coming up with a winning attitude every day. So as long as they keep that and don't stray off and, you know, everyone's trying to keep them on path, we're going to have a good team. And game time perhaps is a little bit less this season than you would have wanted in previous years, but when you've been called in, particularly lately, you've shown that you've still got what it takes at this level, so that is something you must be pretty happy about as well. Yeah, I feel confident as a player that I could play 15, 20 games a year, but obviously we've got some good players in the team and uh, you know, we spoke to Tandy and he doesn't want me playing that amount of games and you know, I'm, I'm happy with it, but as a rugby player and you train every week, you want to play on, on the weekend, but um, I have to suppress that kind of desire and sometimes you have to think about other people and that's my kind of role now I think as well just not just to play to make sure everyone's playing at their best and do what I can do to you know just a one and two percenters for the boys. Is there a case perhaps of combining a playing career with beginning that transition to life beyond a rugby player and perhaps make some big steps that way? Uh, yeah I'm not sure what I'd like to do after rugby yet but definitely I'd like to definitely work with young guys and maybe stay in sport but we'll see how that goes but yeah it's just it's just learning new skills and every day you learn something new with a, you know speaking to the young boys and that and uh, there's another one shouting out the window now so you know it's, it's good fun and as someone who's fast approaching 30 yeah what's the secret of your longevity uh i don't know good wife good food train hard and uh don't take anything serious. Don't take rugby too serious and play it the way you like playing. And uh, that's it, really. Just don't take anything seriously. I probably enjoy life generally like you enjoy your rugby. Yeah, just make sure you enjoy every day. And every day you wake up, you know, you, you come and play rugby, you come to train. It's not something you're wanting to do your whole life. So just enjoy it and don't, don't be pressured by it. Just do what you do.